My husband and I try to live our lives according to the Bible, but my mom's actions are not Christian. They don't think I'm Christian enough, but I worship three times a week. My wife and I raise our kids to walk in the way that Christ showed us to walk. And even though Susan professes to walk in that way, it's obvious to us that she does not. They say I have sinful, inappropriate behavior. I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't gamble. My mom has gossiped about other people in front of me, lied in front of me. Susan doesn't draw anyone to Christ-like behavior because she doesn't exhibit it. He said before he wanted to save my soul, but I, and I've told him, you are not my savior. It's my soul and it's my responsibility. The Bible specifically states to put away anger and wrath, to grow and become more Christ-like. The Bible says there is only one lawgiver, and it also says, he that is without sin casts the first stone. Uh, well, um, we never said that we were perfect. And we just said that, you know, the negative behavior and stuff we don't want our kids to think that being negative constantly is okay. Constantly? I am not negative constantly. Just very often. Just when I'm with you guys. <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe you draw out the negativity in me. Sorry. If I pronounce a word wrong, <clears throat> they laugh at me and tell me how it is correctly pronounced. That is what we... It's, it's, it's so our funny family to joke. It's not, I am your family joke, and it's no, not funny to we me. We do the same thing between me and Good, him, do it to yourselves, the... not to me, okay? Because I don't like it. <laughs> well, you know, if you don't like something, then you need to just well, say let, it. Let me, let me tell you, do, do you two have a right to run your family the way you want to and set your standards the way you want to? Of course you do. And I, I believe in... Deuteronomy 5, 16, which says, honor your mother and father. And I, uh, it, it, it says, honor your mother and father as the Lord your God has commanded you that your days may be long and that it may be well with you in the land which the Lord your God is giving you. And she is your mother and you need to honor her and let's define what honor means. Does that mean endorse every word she says or every behavior she emits? It does not. No. But it means that <laughs> in your spirit, you're looking for a way to lift her up. You're looking for a way to come together with her instead of looking for a way to find fault, looking for a way to exclude. And does that mean that you're going to like everything she does or endorse everything she does? Of course not. And you've already heard me tell her she needs to respect boundaries. I agree with what you're saying completely. And uh, I do love Susan. And I want her soul to be well with the Lord. If, How do you know if, it's not? If someone, Who told you? If... Well, don't, don't, don't argue, let him okay. finish. Don't argue um, with what he's saying, let him finish. There's two definitions to judge. One is to condemn, and the other is to discern. And we're told to discern and judge righteous judgment so that I know that if my brother is in a fault, I can see it. And I can go to him and say, hey, I want to help you out because you've got this problem and you need help with it. But the issue that I've had most with you is that any time I've tried to come with to you and say, I can't have this in my home because it's not correct, you won't listen and you shut us down and leave. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.